What's going on YouTube? Geosnoid here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to change the location on your device to any location in the world using a program called Tenorshare iAnyGo. Now this program allows you to change the location for any application that requires location services. So basically social media, games, dating apps, whatever. You can change it for any application that requires that. So the program is available on the Tenorshare website. There is a free trial available as well for both Windows and Mac OS and you can change with one click the iPhone location to anywhere in the world. So basically a virtual location system. So you can play games like Pokemon Go or you can fake your location on anything like WhatsApp, fitness applications, Facebook, whatever. So this is compatible with iOS 16, 15, 14 and so on and even with the latest iPhone 14 series. So it works with all devices. To change the location on your device first you have to plug in the device to the computer using the USB cable. Then in here you have four different options. You have the change location, you have the single spot movement, the multi spot movement and then the joystick movement. I'm gonna go with change location. This one basically changes the location to one specific spot instantly, like you're teleporting from one point to another. So I'm gonna go with change location, press enter over here and you can see the device is connected, iPod touch, we press next and then it goes to the map. And you can see the current location that the device picks up with the GPS data. So I'm gonna zoom out a lot and you can choose any place in the world. So let's say I'm gonna go from Italy all the way over to Spain over here. Then I press start to modify, press continue and that's it. The phone now believes that it is in Spain. So as you can see over here the new location is that. And even if we close the application, if we do not restart the device, it will still believe that location is the correct one. So I'm gonna go back in here to change location, next again, and as you can see it still believes the device is in Spain, as you can see over here. So this is pretty helpful if you want to revert back to your normal location from the GPS data, you just have to reboot the phone. So I'm gonna go back in here and I'm gonna show you how the single spot movement works because this one is much more interesting. So as you can see over here we have the map again with the location we've set previously. But let's say I want to simulate going to a completely different city or even to a completely different country like France. So the starting point is this one over here, my current location, but the end point could be anywhere. I'm gonna go to France over here and as you can see from A to B there is now a path. Now you can select the speed you want to go through and as you can see we have pedestrian, we have what appears to be a motorcycle or whatever that is and then a car. If you're playing something like Pokemon Go you would probably want the pedestrian version or you can go with something more akin to a bike or something like that. You press start to move and then you press continue and it will start to move very very slowly towards that path. So it won't be instant, you won't be teleported there which means your phone will keep getting updated information that you are on the move. This is important because in this case you can play games that require you to move without even moving. Now if you zoom in a little bit here on the map you can see how it actually is moving. So I'm gonna go all the way here and as you can see we are actually moving on the map and we can stop and even increase the speed. So I'm gonna select a different route and I'm gonna go by car. This one gives you more speed. So I'm gonna continue and as you can see in real time now it moves much much faster because of course you would move faster by car. So let's zoom in a little bit on the map and as you can see we are moving in real time. Now I'm gonna stop this in here and I'm gonna go to the multi-spot movement. Now this allows you to create a path based on multiple points. So let's see I want to go first to this city over here and then I'm gonna go to this city and then this one and then I'm gonna go all the way to France. And as you can see we can have as many points as we want and it will follow them one by one towards the final location. The same thing in here you can control the speed and I'm gonna press start to move and that's it. The device will now follow the path that I have specified here on the map. And you can make your device to believe it goes anywhere you want. Now you can see here an estimated time of arrival which would be like 13 hours in here which yeah makes sense because you're moving towards a lot of points and that makes it even more believable for the applications that require data from your GPS. So that's basically it with the multi-spot movement. Finally the joystick movement allows you to go over here, press next and you are now in joystick view. With joystick movement you can basically select any point and of course I'm gonna go by car, start positioning, continue and you can see that now we're moving but I can use the joystick in order to 
change the orientation of my marker over there and go into a completely different location. But do keep in mind that this might mean you are going out of the street. So uh, yeah, you might go on hills and on alleys and stuff like that because you're no longer following the streets. You're following the direction you give with the uh, joystick. But this can be very useful if you're playing games that require movement and you want to move in a specific pattern. So yeah, you can do all that with this program, I any go. You can definitely check the program out, as I said, it's compatible with macOS and Windows, as well as all the recent iOS versions like iOS 16 and 15 and 14, 13 and so on, and it's actually quite easy to use. So definitely check the program out in the link below, it's actually quite useful if you want to play games that require movement, or if you want to fake the location on social media. Thank you for watching, I am GSNow, till the next time, peace out.